Welcome back to The Southern Scene. It's time now for our legal scene. You know, bad medical products can destroy a person's life and even take the life of a loved one. When a person is injured by a medically defective device, there's a lot of physical suffering, mental stress, and financial pressures. It can be devastating. And it seems that women are a lot of times are the victim of some of these products. I take NuvaRing, for instance. It's very controversial, a lot of issues with NuvaRing. And that's what we wanted to talk with our legal expert, Mark Tate, about today of Tate Law Group. Group. Thanks a lot for joining us, Mark. And now Mark Tate joins us of Tate Law Group. So, Mark, let's yeah. talk about NuvaRing. I mean, it's right. very controversial. Yeah. What is NuvaRing, and is it safe? Well, NuvaRing is a is a birth control device. It's an insertable. It's an interuterine device. And essentially, what it is is it's a plastic uh, polymer ring that contains hormones, and they are a uh, generation of hormones that are known to. Uh, stop pregnancy and the problem with with the device is that this particular hormone comes out in bursts and so while the goal is to create a steady release of hormones unfortunately it does not do that and instead it will boost the estrogen that is entering the system and estrogen is a known uh, hormone that causes deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism how long has this been on the market? Uh, it's been on the market since 1994. It's been around for a long time. And if it does have so many issues, I mean, why is it still on the market? Well, uh, because they have studies to say that, that the FDA is considering that show that its incident of causing harm is no greater than any other hormone. Um, and that's not really true. There are literally thousands and thousands of lawsuits pending uh, against the makers of NuvaRing because of the health conditions that it causes. Uh, it's been around for a while. You know, in litigation like this, in which my firm is involved, cases are picked for trial. They're called bellwether cases. The bellwether cases have been selected. Our experts are ready. We're going to trial. All of our expert testimony has been ruled to be admissible and will be considered by a jury. And we think that when a jury starts to hear what the companies did who make this product in order to get it on the market, we think that they're going to find four of the ladies we represent and compensate them. Now, have they made any changes with NuvaRing? There's not been no change made. There's not been any changes made whatsoever. Even with all the problems? Nothing's changed. We now know, for example, that while they were tracking women who had developed deep vein thrombosis and suffered pulmonary embolism, and while they happened to women while they were on the NuvaRing, we now know that when they were reporting adverse events, that they simply left those people out of the statistical pool that they were studying. So, if you were on the NuvaRing and you were fine, and you were in the study, you were kept in the study. And so they were able to show that people who were on the NuvaRing were okay. And if you were on NuvaRing and you developed deep vein thrombosis or pulmonary embolism, they simply omitted your data point from the reporting that they did in order to get the drug approved and maintain it on the market. What if you've used NuvaRing but you're not using it anymore, but now you're starting to show symptoms? Yeah. I mean, you know, the general thought is that once you've removed the NuvaRing and you've gone back to normal hormonal fluctuations, that you don't suffer any further risk or any future increased risk of harm from taking the NuvaRing or from using the NuvaRing. So if you've removed it and you're no longer using it and you've gone back to normal Okay, so what if you have problems while fine. it was there? Can you still join Absolutely. a, a, a well, file a claim? Again, these cases are not class actions, Natalie. It's an individual case. Our firm has several hundred of them and one of our cases in fact is going to be tried. Uh, we developed uh, some of the experts out of South Florida and other areas that are going to testify in our trials. And, you know, if you're hurt if you are taking the NuvaRing, if you're on NuvaRing now and you uh, have a pulmonary embolism or you suffer an untoward event uh, because of using it, you need to contact, I would suggest us if you're here in Savannah, and we can help you analyze it quickly. Now, with NuvaRing, obviously you've been dealing with a lot of these cases. What would you like to see happen um, with this particular well, you device? Know, what, what ought to happen is that you know people should be fully informed of every single risk that is really there. And we have to, in litigation, many times peel back the layers of malarkey that are put on us by defendants to find out what the real risks are. And I think so long as you actually do understand what are the real risks of taking this device and using this device to prevent conception, you know, as long as you understand it, you know, as far as I'm concerned, you can roll the dice. 
But if you do not know, in reality, everything that the defendants know about the dangers of their product, then you can't consent to having it done to you. If there are women out there listening right now and maybe they're having some problems, I mean, your firm handles this kind yeah, of thing. we handle What it. sets you apart? We have the medical staff to review your case and we have the ability here to file it quickly and pursue it rapidly so it doesn't uh, take over the rest of your life. So that's definitely something to consider if you're dealing with this issue. I think so. All right, thanks, Thank Mark, you. for joining us. If you'd like more information on this particular issue or you would like to ask Mark a question, we're going to give you that opportunity to talk to Tate. All you have to do is send us your question. Go to our Facebook page, The Southern Scene, or our website, WSAV.com. Don't go away. We'll be back with the entertainment scene and tell you what's happening at the box office right after this. Stay with us.